Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I get asked a lot of questions about YouTube and my YouTube channel and just everything to do with it. Like what do I film with? What do I um, edit with? Do I make money? And how much money do I make? So I decided I would film like a quick Q&A video about YouTube, just about like some frequently asked questions. Also, I guess some advice that I have for someone who's just starting out. If you guys want to know I don't know, some answers to the previous questions, then keep watching. Firstly, what got me started into YouTube? Like, why am I here? I started in high school when I went through, I don't know, you know when you're a teenager, you get you have like lots of ups and downs, mainly downs sometimes, um, and I kind of looked to YouTube as a way to forget things or a way to distract myself, and I used to watch a lot of YouTubers like Michelle Phan, Rose Rose 2, um, It's Judy Time, watch them do the makeup, and I was like, this is really cool, like, I want to be able to do that i want to have my own channel and you know it's just it's just looking up to people and wanting to do the same thing then started playing with makeup and started putting makeup on myself but i was always really shy like i'm still really shy i don't think a lot of people know this about me but i am quite introverted i thought about doing youtube for about two years so even if you look at my channel and you'll see when i started it it would say 2013 but i didn't start uploading till 2015. last year i just kept thinking about it what used to hold me back is I used to think that I wasn't good enough. I used to think that no one would want to watch my videos, no one would care, it'd be a waste of time, that I couldn't do it. I used to fill my head up with a lot of self-doubt and insults and I just realized one day that I won't know the answer to all these questions if I don't try. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna invest in myself. I'm gonna buy a decent camera. I'm gonna buy some lighting. I'm just gonna really invest in myself. Try it, see what happens. If it doesn't work out, I'll sell my equipment, whatever. So yeah, I then did that and I put up my first video. It was a it was a makeup tutorial and honestly if you look back at the video I'm so shy and so reserved and I'm like a little mouse in front of the camera but honestly I feel like it was the best decision I ever made to start YouTube because I've gained so much confidence in myself and being able to talk to people even though I'm still shy I still get really nervous I even to this day but it's really helped me grow and meet new people and put myself out there and stop being so inside my shell that it was the best decision I ever made. So yeah, that's pretty much my YouTube story. And fast forward to now, I am so passionate about making videos that I've kind of switched up my schedule to allow me to continue making more videos and I strictly upload twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays and I feel like that has really helped me grow my channel is to be consistent and really work on my passions and things that I love doing. So yeah. The second question I get asked a lot is what do I film with? Main channel videos that I'm filming with right now. I use a Canon 70D. I chose this camera because it's got Wi-Fi which I don't usually use but it's good that my camera has it. And I also bought it because it autofocuses in videos. So when you're like holding up a product, like for example this, if I pull it up to you, it will focus. Like it won't focus now. See it's focused on me but if it's here it's focused. So it focuses on videos which is really helpful if you're filming um, beauty videos. And also I just want to say that buy the camera that like that is best suited for you. Like do your research, save, stop, save up some money. I chose to save up as much as I could and get the camera that I really wanted because I didn't want to use it for like a year and then have to upgrade later on. Like I would have rather just bought the one that I really wanted and spent a bit more money. So I have kind of room to grow instead of having to replace things like not too long after if you know what I mean. For my vlogging, um, I have a Canon G7X and that's like the generic vlogger's camera. Um, it's either that or like the Sony A500 for like selfies and photos and stuff but I really like that camera as well. In terms of like lighting, I started off with pretty much what I needed first. So first I got a ring light. I started filming and I noticed that like my background was a bit dark or like um, you know the lighting would change so then I started filming with my ring light and daylight and then daylight is really good to film with but it's not consistent so you just have to be aware about that so then I had to switch my filming spaces I realized that I needed some more lights so then I invested in um, big studio lights what are they called um soft boxes my recommendation would be just buy one thing Start filming, see how you go, judge your situation, think do you need more lights, do you need like a microphone. So don't just go out, buy everything because you might not need everything, you'll just end up spending way too much money and then you don't actually need all the things. Test it out, see how you go. That's pretty much the only thing that will help you realize is you need to try it out and then 
see what you need and that's how you'll kind of learn so what do I edit with um, right now I'm using Final Cut Pro X I used to use iMovie I feel like you can do more with Final Cut it takes me quite a while to edit because sometimes I have a lot of footage I gotta sort through two hours of like footage and then cut it all up and then my laptop lags sometimes so yeah um overall if you have iMovie if you're just signing out try that use it if you like it one thing I found with iMovie is that I lost some footage like I was editing it crashed lost my videos I was really annoyed at that secondly it made my videos really massive like I think my video was like 7 gigs and I was like dang it took forever to upload no my internet was real slow if you want to know exactly how to edit just go on YouTube and type in whatever program you're using whether it's Premiere whether it's Final Cut whether it's iMovie type that in and be like um tutorial and I know a few people have put in some tutorials like Brittany Lee Saunders has shown how she films and edits her videos and she shows you how to use iMovie and Katie from Lustalux has shown how she films and like her whole setup and how she edits and she uses Final Cut so that's really helpful and for me pretty much I just kind of learned by using it I feel like that's the best way is to learn how you go because that's how it, people learn to use other things like for example your phone if you get a brand new phone you just start using it you know you're just like oh let me figure this out so I feel like that's a great way to learn so next let's talk about do you make money off YouTube does YouTube pay you yes you do I think everyone already knows the answer to this um, so how it kind of works is you can monetize your videos which means that um, Google I guess places ads on top of your videos so if you see those little like five second ads on videos that's how youtubers make money it is based on like clicks and impressions and you earn a very very tiny tiny amount and it all accumulates within a month and you can only start getting the money out if you hit a certain threshold so the threshold is like about depending on your currency in New Zealand it's about like $130 New Zealand so once you hit that amount you can start taking the money out like you can start keeping the money that you make it's all based on your views it's not based on your subscribers so when people say I'll oh, subscribe to my channel it's not like they're getting paid from that it's just it's kind of like so you guys can keep up to date with videos um, that sort of thing and likes don't give get you paid anyway it just kind of shows us which videos that you guys enjoy so we're like oh hey this video got like 30 likes so I'm gonna make more makeup tutorials or more haul videos or more workout videos whatever it is I guess how much money do I make it would be the equivalent to a Mac foundation like Mac Studio Fix foundation and that's how much I make every month you know what I mean like for a whole month so between the 30th of May to the 30th of June I would have put up a total of 10 videos right so 10 videos with um, getting paid the equivalent to like a Mac foundation is not a lot like if you think about it it's not something that kids this up and then two videos plus countless amount of hours filming editing and then doing social media stuff and that's every month that's not even like weekly that's not even daily that's like months months totals because that's how it's um, accumulated like you get told that I think on like the 15th of every month I'm not sure so yeah as you can tell like it's not a way to I guess think that hey if I start doing YouTube I'm gonna start getting paid because you're not gonna be able to like live off it unless you're getting like tons and tons of views you could easily live off like live off it but when I started doing YouTube I never thought about the money I was just thinking hey I want to do this I've been thinking about this for a while I want to do it I put myself out there I'm gonna do it. The fact that my channel is growing and that I am, I guess, making money, I guess it's a bonus, um, but I wouldn't say that I'm kind of getting getting anything material back from it because like, you really have to be in YouTube for, because you're passionate about it, because you want to make videos, because you enjoy what you're doing, because it's not a quick way to make money. Let's just say that. I have quite a small channel, like I've only got about 3,400 subscribers and I've been doing it for um, about a year so yeah it's kind of cool to see that my channel is growing and that's pretty much it um, next up in terms of sponsorships and partnerships integrity is really important to me and it's important that you guys feel like I'm being honest and I'm not trying to trick anyone into buying anything like that would never be my intention so when I get asked to review products and stuff like that I'm very hesitant I'm very hesitant to accept free products because I would only want to if I can be completely fully honest about the product and if the brand is fine with that then that's great I mean I would never bash a product but 
if it didn't work for me, then I would want to be saying why it didn't work for me. You know what I mean? Because people need to hear that and I would want someone to be completely honest with their review. So that means a whole lot to me and as of yet, I haven't actually shown you guys anything that company has sent me. I do get offers but I've kind of just been declining them because I feel like they don't um, fit well with my brand that I'm trying to create. But I also feel like if I were to accept products, if I genuinely wanted to try something and show you guys and I would mention it either verbally or written down in my description box that hey this product was sent to me but all reviews are my honest reviews so because that's how I want to have my channel you know that's what I want to do I want to keep things honest and open and yeah because I mean I also feel like if you want to do YouTube and you want to make it your career which would be amazing like I would love to have this as my career you do need to um, think about how you're going to sustain yourself and views and getting paid from YouTube isn't consistent because it fluctuates like the amount you get paid changes based on views. In terms of partnerships, like I get a lot of emails about partnering with companies and first I thought it was spam because I was like who are these people that are emailing me about partnerships? I don't want to partner with anyone because I know that when you partner with someone they get a percentage of your earnings and I'm like I'm already not really earning anything. Why would I want to give you my money? You know what I mean? And I know that some companies come with perks. They would, I guess, give you access to like music libraries without copyright or they'll kind of look after you or they'll promote you or help you get sponsorships and stuff. I also feel like it only really works out if you have quite a big channel because they would really care about you and about your best interest in heart. But at this point, I've pretty much turned down every partnership because I don't want to go down that route. I'm very hesitant about it and I feel like I'm doing good on my own. Like my channel is growing. I have full rights to everything and I like that because I don't want to be signing a contract with a company and be locked in for like two years because they own the rights to my content. No. So if you're thinking about partnering with a company, do your research, look up videos on YouTube. There's been so many videos made about it of like had experiences or advice of people that have actually signed and their um, experiences with it. So yeah, I would recommend doing that. I always get asked about how I deal with haters. Honestly, I feel like everyone is different. Deal with it however you want to deal with it because it's bullying and it's not okay. Who wants to be told mean things about themselves, you know what I mean? Like things that aren't even true from people that don't even know them and are hiding behind a keyboard. My advice is deal with it however you want. If you want to say something, if you want to stand up for yourself, if you want to say, hey, no, that's not okay. You can't say that kind of stuff on my channel. You do that. If you don't want to deal with it, do that. Like do whatever you want to because at the end of the day, you're putting yourself out there. You have a right to stand up for yourself and to tell people, hey, you can't treat me like this, you know? But at the same time, I want to say, don't let it get to you because it is like an uphill battle and people will constantly say mean, horrible things to you because on their based on their own lives, whether they're bitter inside, whether they're jealous, what if they're like, whether they've had like a really hard upbringing. I'm not trying to give them any excuse, but I'm saying that there's a reason why people are so horrible and mean, you know what I mean? So my default way of dealing with anything, whether I'm upset, whether I'm angry, I will go to the gym, I will lift heavy weight, I will like turn up my music real loud, I'll be in the zone and I'm over there working on myself because I feel like that is the best form of therapy is lifting weights for me personally. It can be different for everyone else. And so I'm kind of just like, thanks for saying something mean, I'm gonna go over there and grow my ass kind of thing, you know what I mean? I'm gonna grow my quads, I'm gonna grow my hammies, I'm gonna develop my upper body. Thank you for the insults, like that that anger motivated me, like pain is fuel, that's how I see it. So I just want to say, deal with it however you want. No one says that you have to sit back and take it just because you're putting yourself out there, like I hate that so much. It's because people on YouTube put themselves out there and they put themselves out in the world, make videos, doesn't mean it gives people a reason to tear you down. I guess that brings me into the next point which is advice on starting. If you're consistently putting in the hours every single week, change will happen. Consistency is key. Other bits of advice is it is not easy. Like starting a channel, filming your first video, editing your first video, it's a long process. It's hard work. You're gonna have so many obstacles. Like trust me, like things that you didn't even think would be an obstacle. Like don't tell anyone like until you've actually edited your first video and you're about to upload or it's going up and you could be like hey this is my first video because you've actually done it and then you don't have the pressure of like oh my god people are waiting like you've announced it and where's your video you know so that's one thing is don't put any additional pressure on yourself and also don't commit to more than you can deliver like don't say that hey guys I'm gonna start putting up three like three videos a week until you can actually commit to that trust me like if it's something that you enjoy 
it's so worth it and if it's on your mind to do it then do it you get so many benefits from it from you get more confidence in yourself and you meet so many amazing new people and i feel like it's one of the best decisions i've ever made so if you guys want me to make a part two version of this then leave um, questions down below and then i could film another one uh, i pretty much just answered things that i get asked all the time from so many girls that want to start youtube videos and i'm always telling them do it see what happens make the job and yeah i'll always give people my advice start your journey you're gonna be learning so much it's awesome like you will be blown away by the benefits that you get and they're not even like material benefits it's like just how much you grow as a person and how much support you have like you have no idea it's crazy like there's always someone that is kind of cheering you on without you knowing it and like they'll approach you or you'll they'll say something and then you're just like ah oh, like that was exactly what i needed to push me and it just kind of makes you feel like hey i'm doing this for a reason and people do actually want to see my videos and it just gives you a little bit more confidence and i'm so appreciative like you guys have no idea i'm so appreciative of all the support that i get and the friends that i've made really really grateful so yeah as always um if you guys have any other questions if you want me to film a part two video then leave them down below or leave me anything down below like i love reading you guys comments and responding to them so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Let's make my hair look bigger. Nine, ten. That's a lot. Okay, so <laughs> have I been filming like this? How annoying is this? Like, this one's like half out. I'm sorry. I'm really like not together today. Let me make it a little bit more even. Okay. No one's gonna tell me I have nice hair today because they're gonna be like, girl, you look crazy.